Asking Zay like, what I mean. Anyway, he was telling me the story about this fella he used to know over behind a bluey. Well, his mate goes on Aldi, doesn't he? So we asked him to keep an eye on the place while he's away. Well, it's sound, isn't it? Until about three days later, two blokes pull up in a van. Straight out they get, through the front door and waltz out with a three-piece suite. So we want his mates out like a bullet right. <laughs> but the fellas tell him that they come to re-oppose to the suite while the others are on Aldi. So we let him take it away, didn't we? But they were robbing it. Yeah, but that's not the funny part. The funny part is, they sounded so convincing that they let him take his away as well. <laughs> yeah, well, at other times I might find it funny, but I'm a bit short of sense of humour at the moment. You've been turned over, man. It's happened to people before, you know. Not to us, it hasn't. Well, it has now. No amount of threatening's gonna change that, you know. Oh, and I'm supposed to forget all about it now. Just one of those things, is it? Oh, you know what I mean, man. No, I don't, Barry, I don't. I don't understand why it happened, who do it and why us. Now, that might sound stupid, but that's the way I feel. It doesn't sound stupid. Well, don't carry on as if I am! I don't know, I remember my poor mother, God rest her soul, always going on about being poor but honest. Well, that did sound stupid. All the years we lived on that place, we've only been in this place five minutes. I mean, what have we got that's worth anything? What did we have, I should say? We had the gas fire, Mum. Look, it's insured, isn't it? That's not the point. Well, it gives us an opportunity to make a few bob, doesn't it? I mean, we don't know what we had in there. They don't know. Just had a few things onto the list. Steal from the insurance company, you mean? It's not stealing, ma'am. Oh. Well, what is it, then? Look, all I'm saying is don't get yourself into a state. Don't get myself into a state? The house has been burgled, your father's on strike, and it's three weeks to Christmas, and you tell me not to... Dalen! Carol, it's half past eight! Are you giving me a lift or what? Is it the cash you're worried about? Sometimes, Barry, I worry about you. All right, Sally. Didn't expect a special delivery today. It's half day closing. I thought I'd get them out, you know, in case he does a stock check this afternoon. Go ahead, then. Just the Ingersolls. What about the chubs? Well, you're only phoned at ten. You know, miracles take a bit longer. That's it, then? No, it's, uh, it's the one across the road. But it looks like a nice one anyway. Yeah, get this one to get it. Move over, Sir Alfred McAlpine. <laughs> Big deal. How to start a multinational in one easy lesson. We'll rip off your raw materials. It's how industry regenerates itself. Those from the bottom take from those from the top. Yeah, I grab hold of that. When I'm up there, some piss art is gonna be creaming it off me. Natural redistribution of wealth. I don't only go on sacks anyway. Well, some would like to make that choice themselves. When does he want to finish by? As soon as I get that car like you promised me. But well, when do you need it? First week in January. And how are you going to manage that? By working myself into the deck. How's your old fella's place doing? They're out now, aren't they? Yeah, he's on picket today. And that's a place where it's the other way around. Those at the top ripping off the ones at the bottom. So your old fella reckons. And your 2,000 out with them. Bollocks. They're only out seeing as your old fella told them to go out. Well, most of them want to stay in, don't they? Banging up the reddies for Christmas. Yeah, that's because most of them don't know what's going on half the time, and half of them don't know what's going on most of the time. And you're beginning to sound like your old fella. 
And that's something else you'll have to watch when you become Sir Barry Grant. The unions. Only if you try and screw them, to. Which you wouldn't. Which I wouldn't. Then they'd screw you. Well, it's that sort of world, isn't it, Barry? I'll be seeing you anyway. ta -da. See ya. You nearly had me there. <laughs> All right, Gav. Yeah, In okay. the doghouse again, are you? Never heard of it, mate. I know the feeling. I'll see you later, anyway. Yeah, good luck. Hey, you're a bit early, aren't you? Don't lose your bow. I'm a customer, aren't I? Oh, I thought you'd come for the gear. I have. There's no one around, is there? Oh, freaking hell, buddy. You could be back in a minute. Well, let's get going, then. I knocked off there now, early, so we can get some time. Come on. Come on, then. How's it going, then? Oh, it's sound. I want Vic to cough up a stage payment. That's why I came, early. Have you got the cash? Yeah. And have you got a van? No. Well, I thought you could lend me the shop van for half an hour or so. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've only been so time. I've got the uh, roof rack on a jag. Well, it is my skin at stake. I know that. But do you realise how much this stuff costs? Of course I do. That's why I'm here. Anyway... Yeah, this will do is have your kex clean. Costy. <laughs> See you, buddy. OK. Yeah, buddy. All right. Catch you later, all right. David, didn't he? Now come. Well, it's better through the coat, isn't it, than through him. You don't know who? No. You mean a perfect stranger walks up to you in the street and just knifes you? Well, there are some funny people in the world, aren't there? And you didn't get a look at him? He knifed me from behind, and it was dark. Well, maybe you can talk some sense into him. Look, I've told you, haven't I? I don't know, OK? Oh, look, Barry, lad, come on. Have you look, I don't, don't know, OK? You were lucky this time. Half an inch either way, and you'd have been an urgent note. Well, I suppose I might as well be off. He's a silly bugger. And he knows who did it. Keep at him. Have you got anything? Oh, I'll let you know. I'll let you know, mate. Thanks for the tea, love. Thanks a lot. Good night. Yeah. Cheers. Where are you going? I'm going upstairs to talk to him. Sense into him. He'll talk when he's ready, love. Look, I'll talk to him. You only upset yourself. Look, I don't know, OK? Well, people don't get stabbed for no reason. All right. And another thing, don't think you're going to take the law into your own bloody hands. I'm off. You're not going into work, are you? Why not? Well, you've been up half the night. Well, we still need money coming in, especially now you're both out of work. Anyway, I could do with something to occupy my mind. Bye, love. See ya. Do you know, you'd think I'd got it done on purpose the way she carries on. I don't think you understand, do you? 
She's just worried to death about you, isn't she, lad? I thought I was going to have another hospital case on my hands with your mother. Should have seen her when she seen the police knocking us up this morning. Listen, for the last time, do you know who done it? I've got a knife from behind, didn't I? That's not what I'm asking you, Barry, is it? Well, that's the only answer you're going to get. Do you know if you get in any more trouble? Oh, what the hell. You learn, lad. But you'll probably learn the bloody hard way. No doubt. Twice today. It's a good job you're my mother. I don't know what I've done to deserve it. <laughs> Do you know you love me, Mum? Was it about a girl? Flick knives at dawn, you mean? I just don't understand it. You're the only woman in my life, Ma. You know that. Do us a favour, will you? Just forget about it now. It's finished. Your father gone down the factory? Mm. He looked in a worse state than me when he left. Oh, God. I hope it finishes soon. Mm. Someone was knocking at the door earlier. Oh, probably that insurance bloke. Said he'd come again about renewing the policy. Are we going to get it index linked this time? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a cuppa? I thought he'd never ask. Go on, Alvin. Again, Louis. I'm Jim Bowie. I love it. Rises rain. I'll be school on Attic next week. <laughs> Those things up there. At the factory. What's up? The white collar lads. Do you want to go in while the arbitration's on? I don't see why you all don't go back. I mean, if it's gone to arbitration, there's no point, is there? Oh, Barry, lad, if cats know they're going back in dribs and drabs, we'll get shape buttons. But they're arbitrators, aren't they? They're peacemakers, son, aren't they? They just give you enough to get you back. No more. But if you're already back, they give you an out. What are you getting not now? It's only a week till Christmas. <laughs> Don't I know it? Management made that plain. Come back now, lads, and there's a wage packet for Christmas. Got hundreds of them waiting to take up the offer. Well, it would put a turkey in the oven, wouldn't it? Don't go giving me a Garden of Gethsemane face. I get it all day in that shop. Your lads will be all right for the rail at Christmas. It'll be the women who are suffering. Sheila, I've been getting that all day. And you'll get it all night. The money you've lost us. It'll take me from now till Kingdom Come to get it back. So what do you want us to do? Just lie down and let them walk all over us? Well, they're doing that now, aren't they? I'll get some tea. That. Do you want more toast? If you're late for school because of me, my mum will shove a knife on the other side. No, go on. Are you sure you didn't see who did it? I mean, not even a glimpse. Go ahead, on your bike. Anything I can get you? Yeah, just a millionaire S with a great bit. Oh, right, okay. It's a doll, Daddy. See you later, Karen. My mum will want me to go to midnight mass with her, not a flaming Christmas Eve party. I'll tell you go in the morning, then. I want to tell her I don't want to go at all. Well, there you are. I'll tell her that, then. Oh, yeah, I can just imagine, especially with our Damon's report. Eh, uh, what about his report? It's going to be last. How do you know? Because you're never in school to get a report. Who says? The old school knows you're always sagging. Are oh, you? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, like once a day, every bloody day. I don't know what you'll be getting for Christmas, then. Hey, why do you have to put them in the post anyway? Stop the likes of you fiddling them. What's yours like? Mine's all right, actually. Creep. <laughs> tell you what, though, Dame, you couldn't have picked the worst time. What with the strike and the breaking, 
They're not going to be in the best of moods downstairs, are they? Hey, what about you? Getting stabbed doesn't exactly help, does it? Oh, I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to get it over with before Christmas. All oh, right, it's done now. The best we can do is get them a really good prezzy. Oh, are you? Yeah. You know, they need at me. I'm not going to buy them anything, am I? It's better being a new captain dead, isn't it? Hey, we could get them a home altar, save us going to mass then. Hey, how'd you get out of that anyway? Just tell me Mum I didn't believe in it anymore. But you just took it, like? Not really. Still doesn't, does she? How long did that take you? What for? To get up the nerve? About six years. <laughs> well, it wasn't that I didn't want to tell her. It's just I didn't want to wear her, did I? I mean, she was dead upset when she found out, even though she suspected it for ages. She'd be really upset if we all stopped going then, wouldn't she? But I wish they wouldn't go on about her so much, you know. I mean, it's just dead daft. Like, not going to church, not because of God, but because we don't want to upset our man. She's with it, isn't she? Just for a bit longer. It's all right for you to say lying there. Do you want to swap places? Oh, well. May as well keep going for a bit longer. After all, it has to be in a state of grace when report gets here. <laughs> the prince kissed you and you woke at last, eh? Oh, I feel awful. A couple of raw eggs and mustard sauce. That'll get you back on your feet. Barry, please. I've had enough of soft lot this morning. I'll come you up anyway. It's Christmas, isn't it? Don't expect me to lie in bed all day, do you? What were you drinking last night? Cider till it ran out. And all sorts, I suppose. See that over there? Yeah. Press it here, isn't it? What did your last slave die of? Injuries received from answering back. I'll pass it here. They might as well keep all the rights for you anyway. Oh, thanks, Barry. I've got yours upstairs. Oh, that's great. Thanks. Must have set you back a few, Bob, then. Yeah, don't drink it all at once. Anyway, it's not very nice to ask how much presents cost. Or where they came from. How's it you guess us, anyway? Good job I got it early. God knows how much this thing's costing me. And don't ask. You're not going up to phone me then? How do you mean? So you um, Pauline or whatever her name is who lives there? Sally. Now what I'll follow is a doctor, isn't he? And you don't want any questions asking? I'll go up in two or three weeks or something. God, where is everyone? It's not like Christmas, is it? Ah, oh, Damon and me mum have gone over to the O'Briens. And my half fellas down at the factory as usual. Another meeting. It's like a morgue, this place. It's not like the Alder State. Looks like you've got a visitor. Jeff. He's got some bottle coming here to state you're in. Say I'm not in. Ow, sign language. So what is the settlement then? Yeah. And do you reckon you'll all be back after Christmas? Aye. And there'll be such a mad scramble by the lads to work all sorts of overtime. You know, to make up for the money they lost while we were out on strike. Management, management's not the whip hand right away. Mm. Then they'll say who works, when and what. Thank you, love. Well, at least it seems to be over. Come on, love, sit down. Your father will say grace. <laughs> ah. It's only once a year. Saved by the bell. Excuse me. My point, Barry, it's not only your welfare I have to have in mind, right? I wish you had been there. Uh, would have saved some egg on me face. But you'll have to be 100%. Oh, that's fair enough, Eric. But can you wait till I'm fit again? Just make it soon. We have to win the next two games to get within spitting distance of that cup. Go on, face up, lads. Come on, Greens. I reckon Kinsella is playing a continental game while everybody else is playing British. <laughs> oh, the cat! Keep back! Keep back! The rest of them look as if they've got the laces tied together. Yeah, just get back soon, eh, and sort his out. As soon as your side's better. It's not my side you want to worry about, Eric. It's your own. <laughs> Come on, Telly, lad! Come on, Telly, get a okay. gear! Oh, get a... Oh. That's it, lad, you've your orange. Come on. Come on, kids, get up again, sell will you? 
Do you reckon it was meant for your boss, then? Ah, you do, Barry. What are you just not saying? Well, you're not helping much, are you? Well, if you want round our way, reckons they know who did it. So what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Uh, if you don't do nothing, you could end up playing the dead man. You're joking, aren't you? You will be if I don't get down to Victor's soon. I'd go round and break his legs if I was you. Well, you're not me, are you? And if you was, I bet you'd love to know who did it, wouldn't you? What's the look for, Ted? Ah, oh, suit yourself, buddy. But we need you back in the team. I can see that. So don't let anyone else carve the signature on your side, eh? There's not much chance of that. Can't, right? <laughs> see you, buddy. See you, see you later. Where can I tell what you owe me, are you? Not much you owe me, more like. What are you doing, Vic? What have I been doing, you should ask? Like hanging around here all day, waiting for the man I hired to do this job to show up. It's funny that, isn't it? Well, I'm here now, aren't I? I want this shop finished, Barry. I'm here. But are you fit? Well? Look, the bastard's just messed up me plan, and that's all. That bastard could have killed you. Are you sure you don't know who it was? Look, some nutter with a blade just had a go, that's all. No harm done. Why you? Maybe he's got a thing about good-looking Jag drivers. <laughs> As I say, why you? He hadn't received any threats beforehand. Look, I've told you, Vic. It's just some bloody head case. I mean, I'm not involved with anyone who'd want to hurt me. Involved with me? <laughs> you? So what? The shop. Who knows in these violent times? What's the shop going to be, anyway? It's electronic gear, you know, computers and all that. But I've got to get in before anyone else does. <laughs> oh, I see. So what you reckon is, one of your competitors wanted you out of the game? Nah, Vic. If that was the case, you would have got the blade. Who knows? I do. So don't you worry. Come on, we better get something done. You're still out of it, aren't you? I'm all right. That's what Brezhnev said as they carried him out of Kremlin. I'll finish it, Victor, OK? But when, sunshine? I need the job finished. I don't need your funeral expenses as my first outlay. Look, it'll take me four or five days at the most once I get back into it. OK, Barry. I just want the job finished. Soon, very soon. This way, it's all outlay, and I can't hold on much longer. It's wasting time, and time's money, right? Time's money, yeah. I'll be back in a few days. Look, I've had a few days off. I'll be back in a few days. I'll finish it then, Vic, so don't start scheming. Yeah, yeah but maybe you could consider getting some help in all the same. Maybe. If you lend us your calculator, I'll tell you how much extra it's going to cost you. Hey, I'm losing money on your injury, you're not. I'm not paying out any more money. I just want this place open for the new year. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. Right, I'm off. Where? Out. I, I gathered that. <laughs> Get out before I kill you. 
Right, darling, get changed over at Sissy's before the party. Oh, wait, can you get me a bottle of sherry while you're out? Yeah, what type do you want? Sweet or dry? Oh, can't you get medium? I suppose so. Well, that then. Right. What are you building there? Not finished yet. <laughs> it looks like a Sputnik. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how them things make love? No. With great difficulty. <laughs> It's all right. All right, Vic. All right. You're joking. Buddy boy, you jest. I'm injured, Vic. You get injured and I do the bloody suffering. Look, I'll do me best, all Your right? Your best? Listen, mate, if you don't get it done, I'm getting somebody else. I'll manage. Well, you'd better. I'll manage, Vic, all right? <laughs> ah, you made it, then. Yes. Thank you. Hello. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. 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 You can't really blame the columns as that, though, can you? Oh, I've told him it was perfectly reasonable. Yeah, well. Thanks. Hey, Guzzle Guts, what are you drinking? Coke! And make sure you don't drink anything stronger. I might. You might what? I might have down the line beer, though. <laughs> Help yourself, you know, John. Cheers, Bob. Oh, you've met, uh... Yes, yes. <laughs> really? Yes, it's, uh... Hello. All right. Sheila asked us to call you. Oh, um, come in, please. What would you like to drink? Oh, whiskey and soda, please. Uh, lemonade for the children. Sherry, please. What did you invite him for? New Year's Eve, open house. Didn't mean it. Everybody, you said. And we've got no plastic soda. Hey, you saw a salsa. Soda. <gasps> Put water in there. Oh. <laughs> and you can take your share this time as well. Oh. Well, we've got no sherry, so give a pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Christ, Christ. Listen, what's happening to the bar out there? Self-service, Thank you. Bobby's bringing you a Thank you. You've done absolute wonders with this house, Sheila. Oh, thanks. We've got loads to do yet. What? It's perfect. And in such a short time, too. Thanks. Oh, I haven't taken your coat. Come over here. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Cheers. It's very decent of you to ask us over. It was the, um, the wife's idea, you know. Where have you been? Out. Well, I gathered that. Here's your sherry. You're late, aren't you? Mm. Not too bad. How's it going? Hi, Matt. 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 Yes! I want to get a group of it. Is this 
garden. My view. You might be the one to paint them. Oh, what colour would you suggest? Puce? I think legal action's a bit heavy on this. Ridiculous. Then what do you suggest? What about breaking his legs? Talk to the man. He's only doing it out of spite. Eh? Hey? Thinks I complained about his cookies. Well, did you? Do you want another drink? Mm, please. Yeah, I'll get them. It's okay. Oh, why don't you, Roger? They are free. <laughs> do you reckon she likes younger men? Oh, could do. Your body's been sniffing around here for ages. She might be sniffing around him. Turn it in. Can we get a shanty book? No! Why not? Because my old fella will kill me for a shanty. Yeah. I'm just going to go upstairs and say, look, love, you turn me on. What, are you like a tranny or something? Give her a bit of interference any time. <laughs> anyway, lads, I've just done a VHF. You are? A very heavy fart. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I believe there's some sherry around. Uh, yes. Here we are. Thank you. Association. Oh, God. Sorry? May I be frank? Oh, please. I object to paying through the nose for dustbin men who empty their rubbish all over my garden. I object to paying for buses I never use. I also object to paying for trendy lefty teachers who indoctrinate children and then watch them fail exams. And I also object to Guardian waving social workers on 8,000 a year. I read The Guardian. <laughs> I object to rates, Annabelle. Now, I would happily join an association for the abolition of rates and with it the abolition of ratepayers' associations. <laughs> Karen, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know Lucy? Yeah. Hello. The house school. Oh. <laughs> Lucy would agree with you. It's not the same school, Father. Oh? No, Karen goes to the Catholic Comprehensive. That's just as bad there. When do you have to go back? The 10th. Same here. Looking forward to it. Can't wait. <laughs> Excuse me. It's all better than Dad used to be into chemical engineering. Excellent. Now it seems it's social. And I've got it. And how's my favourite girl then? Blooming Jonah. This is Lucy. Hello? I'm honoured. I'm not interrupting any burning <laughs> issues, am I? Just talking about school. God, not school. Which one? Brookside Comp. Oh, God, worse. Why? Is that the school you used to go to? Yeah. <laughs> is Bridgie still there? Yeah, with his burps. And his worksheets. Mark your own while I get on with my open university course. <laughs> He's still doing that, you know. And no questions. Do you play that thing? Yeah. <laughs> Any rate pairs association, well, it starts with the basic premise, Roger. The lower the rate, the better it is. Excuse me. <clears throat> We watch what money is spent and what is being spent on. But that doesn't mean the rates. Well, it maybe. Doesn't. Maybe, but at least we get something done for our money. Oh. Pressure. <laughs> no. We find a tough chairman and then we... Chairperson. Get him... It's chairperson, love. Chairperson. And then we get him or her to stand. <laughs> Jonah's a charmer. Yes. I've been meaning to ask you, actually, about your sign. Yes? It's lovely. Oh, thank you. Where did you get it from? Hi. Well, we'd like one. Oh. Well, it's mail order, actually. Oh. I have the address still. I'll bring it round. Oh, dear. Only, uh, house signs are meant to be individual. Oh. I, I don't think our signs should be identical. I see. <laughs> Excuse me. Roger, you've come a long way. From a position of total cynicism, you're now discussing the chairman. 
Well, take Mr. Grant, for instance. Now, with all your experience... You need a diplomat. You need a dynamo. Oh, hang on a mo. With all my commitments with committees and tribunals, no thanks. Oh, you'd be perfect. I'm flattered it'll get you on the dance floor. <laughs> well, only if I can bend your ear. You can bite my ear if you like to. Come on. We've had enough of the police, thank you very much. Roger! It's not a mind, then. Well, why were they right? I'm a stab. What? It's not serious. Why, Anne? Who? Say it's me on both counts. You could have been killed. Lucky for him, I wasn't. For him? Yeah, he'd have got life. Yeah, much satisfaction you'd have derived. And what's life these days? Ten years and out on parole. An eye for an eye. So you reckon I should stab him, then? God, no. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, morally, not much, maybe, but legally, it's insane. Why? Murder, manslaughter, grievous bodily harm, run of a mill to a judge of these days. But you try and justify it and you'll never get out. I think so. I know so. Nearly five minutes to 1983! 